Nuts. Okay, so... What the... Jack? This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To I... keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, oh boy. I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Hey guys, what's up? How we doing? Party people in the house say, hey! No? Come All right. on, Holly. I need entertainment. Oh, Jesus. This'll do. Shut up, Jack. I'm not... It's fine. I'm not gonna... You can relax. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. Shut it's up, Jack. Been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? I hate you so much, you son of a bitch. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. I bar, just need here. to talk to Holly. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. Alright, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Jack! Oh, everyone knows. God damn it! Tweedledee was just here. Of course he was. He said it looked like Snow White. What the hell, Crane? Sorry. Yeah. Tweedle D said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. Yeah. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Shut up! Baby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! Yes, please, thank you! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Jack! He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop <sighs> revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Both of you, listen. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. I'm not gonna start anything. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Yep. Boy, I sure walked into that one. You shut one more fucking thing. Just one more thing. Thank you, Grendel. Yes, please go. Asshole. Fuck. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? You give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been saved. Uh... She might have been cared for. She might have been. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I. I wish this had ended up better. <sighs> Yep. Mm. Snow, this might not be the best time. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. Mm -hmm. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. <sighs> That's kind of unfair, but you know what? I'm gonna let that roll. It's fucked up.
We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Sorry about the arm. <laughs> uh, Jesus. This is rough. Like, it's always rough. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. Right. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why weren't you talking? Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just... I didn't want to watch her with her. Right. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. Uh-huh. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The pudding and Beyond pie? Georgie, with all its fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. So Georgie was her pimp? And my main suspect? Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Who's Georgie? Georgie. Hmm, not the first time I've heard that name. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've all got right. a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to... No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Whatever you say. charity. It's looking out for our own. That too. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Yeah. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Fair enough. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start I mean, making the necessary preparations. If this were, if we, if we were like regular cops, maybe not. But like, the fact of the matter is, is that we're not, and there's magic shit, and that club? I'm not gonna I'll just go down there now. Not so let her have her sister's find body. Out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Ah, uh, well, you know. I did fuck up the bar, so... I mean, I'm sure Crane will totally pay for that. <sighs> Jesus. Here we go. The pudding and pie. There's a lady with a ribbon. This is the right spot. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. No. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I've got some questions. For Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. Yeah. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. No time I for this. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I have a way with people. I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Alright, how we doing? 
So who the fuck is Georgie? I'm assuming he's a fable, but I mean he's obviously a fable. But like Welcome to the pudding and pie. Yep. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the fable community. Skip the Your spiel. Pleasure is our pleasure. You can skip the spiel. Save it for the customers. Always looking for more customers. Shut up. Oh, hey. I guess. Fox. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. I can take it from here. Good luck. Yep. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. Yeah, this place seems classy. You have to say it. You're supposed to turn the clients on. That's your job. You want them to feel happy. You want them to think you feel happy. Hey. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What this... do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Yeah, no. Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. <sighs> or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. This guy, Richie, motherfucker. You can take a bit of a beating. Tell me. Do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like. Excuse me? Price. L motherfucker, you, you don't, don't know, me. know me. You don't know me. Okay, mysterious lone wolf. Right, I got you. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. This this fucking guy, Richie asshole, is just gotta stop right now because I am in no mood. Okay, all right, sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Do you, though? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Uh -huh. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. Sure. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things. Well, it's not illegal. Watching. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. I mean, that was my original theory. Black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. Dude. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. All right. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I yeah. found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Uh -huh. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Big B. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Well, that's true. Try looking in the mirror. Okay. <laughs> anyway, now what to do with me? Oh, we're doing this? Go on, man. <sighs> Not playing this game, pal. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? Good job, idiot. Oh, no, fuck! <laughs> you! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! Uh-huh. You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck you, that was your fault. Fuck. You don't know how to punch. Who are you? Hans? 
All right. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. You don't know Why anything. Not look it up. What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. Bullshit. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Oh shit. You know what? Yeah. Fuck this guy. Oh no. You unbelievable prick. Yeah, come on. Hey now. You know what? Crowd control. You shouldn't have messed with that. Uh-huh. Don't even think about it. Just tell me where it is. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. I'm trying to be nice. I only broke your boombox. Touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Kegs are expensive, man. <laughs> And so is the wall, and you're safe. I didn't break the TV, you should well, be happy. Well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Dude, you are Sherry, really... You come on. For fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give me the book. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. <sighs> Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. All right. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You're you're making me do this, pal. Like This is a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Thank you! Bloody come on, then. Fucking finally, asshole! Jesus! Fucking trash my business over this bullshit! Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Uh huh, yeah. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. All right, what do we got? Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear, I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. 207? What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book, your girl's. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage, I give them music, I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Uh -huh. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Mm -hmm. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Yeah, go right ahead. You should be super glad I didn't break everything else. Hello? Business office. Yeah? Alright then. Fucker. 
How's the boombox? Yep, that's fucked. I don't feel bad. Screw you. I don't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, that's right. Alright, well, she's in there. Is there anything else around here? I want to talk to the deputy mayor. Well, I basically trashed everything except for his Don't TV. Don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, all right? Hmm. All right, I don't know who this girl is, but... Hello. Cosmetics. Note. Lily. Faith. Ginger, Nerissa, Johnny, Jade, Gwen, Madison. First things first. <sighs> Jewelry box. Lock's been busted open. <laughs> Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Why? Someone came. Okay. No, this is the Tweedles. Tweedles came to our work and started going through our shit. Faith. Dicks. Lily's shit's cleared out. Okay, how about the note? This is. Okay. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the. Apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Faith covered for Lily at some point? Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Excuse me. I heard you out there. Yeah? I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I'm here now. I'm here now. Yes. I don't know who you are. You don't look familiar. You're trying to place me. Yep. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. What? Once upon a time. Is that what? Right? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Same as anyone. It's a place where I am. Where else am I supposed to be? Not here! Ah. My name is Nerissa. Yeah. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Mm-hmm. Why don't you have answers? Lily last night? Did you see Lily last night? You know, where she went, or who she was with. We can't talk about work. This Why? is a murder case. I mean, can't. Yep, okay. It's His lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. Magic. It's how things work here. People keep saying that. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. She physically can't. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Uh? What are you? Uh, okay. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Jesus. <sighs> Pay her. Thanks, Tweedle. Wait here for a second. How's Georgie gonna react to that? Hmm. 
Oh, Jesus. I was an accident. I'm sorry. I hit the space bar. <laughs> Okay. 204. Not 207. You'll think of something. I getcha. All right. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Hotel. Enjoy your stay. Okay. I hope you find what you're looking for. I getcha. Well, that was actually ultra helpful. And I'm gonna assume I didn't have to bust all of Georgie's shit, but fuck Georgie. I don't give a shit. I mean, I get the feeling that me playing it all, like, as violent as possible is gonna, you know, rebound, but right now I'm not concerned. Hey! Yep. Yep. You, uh... Just, you know... <laughs> yeah. See you later, pal. Does your wife know you're here? Okay, I guess it's exactly next door, which makes sense. Alright, well... This place seems about what you'd expect. Well, a uh, couple of things right off the bat. Soda machine! Yeah, shit will kill ya. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good job, Bigby. I should probably repair that. Yeah, no, this is a fucking dive ass hotel in New York. They're not gonna fix the phone. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. <laughs> Fifteen dollars an hour? That sounds about right. Well I'm not just gonna go upstairs. Is there anyone here? Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Excuse me? <gasps> oh uh you <sighs> I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. Oh, um, so okay. Now you know. Is that really I it? I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. What? Beast is a proud man, Big B. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Yeah, but you should All probably tell him. Live at the woodlands. He'd be mortified. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. <sighs> By the way, thanks for covering for me. I didn't really cover so, for you. what are you doing here? Need a room. Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... The troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Right. You ever see her with anyone? Well, you have seen... Did you know Faith? A girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By yeah. the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Right. Sorry. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh... Alright, well, let's just go through the here. options. Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. Alright, fair enough. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Yeah, they are. You know Tweedledee? I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying uh, things have been okay. me for the money plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked... I'm sorry? You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. 
I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Ah, Jesus. Okay, great. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. Right. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Okay. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. If you say so. Five minutes, please. Okay, Let's okay. See. Beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. It won't be hard. I have a key! Isn't that legitimate? I paid $150 for that key! Give me a break! Jesus! Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you Come have on. to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... You want me to lie? Asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, All right. Here we Whatever. Are. Which one was it? Well. Yeah. Okay. I'll know what's going on there. Can I just open that? Can I? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Yeah! Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. I mean, what if someone's in there? You can't just go barging in. I'm investigating a murder. I've got to check out all the angles. You never know what might be significant. Yeah, that's why I want to break into this room. Yes. And? And oh boy, here hey, we go. Hey, what the fuck? Sorry. Sorry. Jesus Christ, you're gonna get me fired. I need this job. All right, sorry. I'll be careful. <laughs> she gets so pouty. All right, I have the key to this. It's probably not gonna be anything in here because the real target is 207, and that's the whole point of coming up here. But if there's anything in here, let's find out. I'm never sure why they have desks in a place like this. Well, cause it would be weird if there was just a bed. Good God, this place is gross. Ah! You get health inspectors through here very often. I don't know. What do you think? No, not at all. Finding what you're looking for. I wasn't expecting much in here. No. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No, beauty. No, the key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Yeah, no. Oh. Yeah, nothing in here. Okay. So, are we done now? No. No. The room they met in was 207. Nothing. I'm not just going to keep opening doors. But if there's no one in there, there's no one in there. Alright, this is the one. Two oh seven. Open this one. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Yes. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Be? Oh! How could you do this to me? Oh. No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. This is How not. How did you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love. It's not what you think. Please. This is super not what you think. You're cheating on me. With him? No. No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. Oh. I'm helping him. 
That's all. Oh. Uh, I'll bet. Oh I'm sure fuck. Help each other just great. Dude. I know what this place is. I know what goes on no, here. That's not what I meant. You've got it wrong. Relax, beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me. Oh boy. Please don't. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. Don't, dude. <laughs> don't do it. Hey, yep, he's doing master. it. I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop. Stop it. Is this you staying out of it? Dude. I thought I could trust you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you, so just calm down and... Beast. Oh, shit. Yep. <laughs> God damn it. Dude. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh Why boy. To me? Dude, don't don't don't, don't do this. Don't make me do this, man. Oh god. I'm sorry. Dude, I don't want to hurt you. Oh Jesus Christ. And I got to go like semi wolf mode. Just to compete. This is my fault. I mean, it kind of is. Oh my god. Oh, come on, man. Don't do this. I don't want to hurt you. No, I'm not gonna. Fine. Oh, Jesus. Alright, that's it. We're done. We're done. Please. I'm not gonna hurt you. Don't do this. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh. Come on, man. Just stop. You Just stop. Everything! Oh, Christ. She's my fucking wife! Dude, don't. Oh, no. Yup, there we go. <sighs> Shit. What have you done? Big B. Look what you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you. Stand back. Uh... You, you don't want to see this. Oh, shit. Stay outside. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this. Is this. Crime Maybe scene. Her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then. Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I. So that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Can we please not talk about <sighs> please? this? Please? Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? You work here! It like a totally normal night. God damn How it! Is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? And fix your fucking face. Do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? <sighs> Fuck. I didn't want to punch Doc. What kind of a person could do something? Yeah, okay, like this? no, this is more important That's right exactly now. Exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Yeah, okay. <sighs> I can't believe this. Hello. All right. All right. Immediately, a lot of shit going on. Bottle, ashtray, cassette. Cassette. Start. Start from the. No. Start here. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Uh huh. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her, and then, and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Yeah. We shouldn't even be in here. For my arrival? So he gave her music to play when he showed up. That's... elaborate. He brought wine. Classy. <laughs> sure! It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Thanks. Apparently not. 
Storybook. What do we got? Oh, what is dear. It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. What is it? He made Lily wear this dress. The dress in the closet is the same as the one in this picture. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. I guess he wanted to get the details right. God, role-playing as a person who really exists, who we know, that's just weird. I'm not sure who to feel worse for. Okay, no, I take that back. Yeah. Uh... The whole book is about her? Yeah. Different apples? Was she breathing? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Right. Oh! Oh, sorry. That was my bad. Had a lot of foul ups today. Okay. God. All right, cassette. Do that first. I want to see what the hell this is about. I doubt it's anything significant, but. Wow. All right. Big beat this. I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Mm -hmm. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. That's pretty significant. <sighs> Apple. So straight up recreating the scene from the book. No. Just Apple. Huh. What? What are you thinking? Murder makes him hungry. It's like the apple in the book. It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh, no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. So is, like, beauty my, like... She couldn't have known. <sighs> she probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. Right. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. That's how it works. She must have been so scared. Oh, oh god, I'm freaking out. Yeah, uh... No, this is exactly the spot. Where she had this that? in her hand. Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Right. Hmm. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? No, it's the it's Snow's caught. Relax. It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded by flowers. Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. You're right. The bed is the coffin. He's acting out another part of. Yeah. Book. Okay. So beauty is like my sounding board. See the whole picture now. It, it all goes together, like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Hey, so I know, I know my shit. All out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah, he killed I hope her. you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. I think we're good. Oh, hey, that's significant. An envelope. Ah, uh, music's ramping up. What? Oh, yeah. Are those pictures of the dead girl? 
snow. They're pictures of snow. Why am I being looked at through a mirror? How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Yeah. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and That's closer. someone's watching us through the mirror. Stand in for snow is gone now, so the next step closer. Uh, what is it? It's <gasps> Crane. What? No way. Why would he leave that photo at the crime scene? What are you doing? Oh, shit. Okay. Um, that's... Is that the end? Is that where we're leaving? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't know how to feel about that one. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Okay, so he's trying to skip town. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Oh, shit. Hello, Big B. Oh, boy. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Oh, come on. I'm doing good, I think. <laughs> Christ, oh yeah, that still has to happen. Yeah. And the fucked up thing is that's not even Bigby like fully transformed. He's not like a werewolf. He is not like werewolves are dudes pretending to be wolves. He's a wolf pretending to be a dude. Ah, uh, how did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? Sixty point nine percent. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's rough. No matter what. Wow, really? I guess I'm in the minority. Uh, well, actually, forced him to talk. Does that mean, like, coercion or just torture? I don't know. Because I kind of went a little bit more torture-y. Uh, did you let Snow come with you? Yes. How'd you handle Georgie? I didn't... Okay. So, it didn't matter that I be wrecked all this shit. It mattered if I physically hit Georgie. And I thought that might have been going a little too far. Uh... Wow, really? Okay, so I... I People beat the shit out of Beast. That's weird. I didn't. I. It was a misunderstanding. I wasn't going to beat the dude. I ripped Grendel's arm off earlier because I went too far. I wasn't about to, you know, keep going. Oh, all right, well, I guess that's that. Um, yeah, enjoy these credits. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like that this time around, like... I don't know how to feel about that, because I don't think it was... I don't think Crane is the kind of guy who would, A, leave a photo like that just around for his murder, like, at the scene of his crime. And not only that, Crane's a coward. Like, like that's his defining trait as a character, is that he's cowardly, is that he, he he's not assertive, he's not, like, able or even capable. Like, I don't think he could kill someone. So, I think we're being, like... And that whole scene felt staged. Like, every detail was from the book, every detail was laid out meticulously. All that stuff. Like, all that was purposeful. So I, I think that was being staged to make it seem like Crane did it. I, I don't doubt for a single second that he actually was hiring prostitutes. That makes sense as to why, like, way back when we were looking at Lily's body, he was freaking out. Like, oh, he wasn't freaking out, but he was, he was hesitant. He was hesitant, and he didn't want to seem to talk about it, and was really hurriedly, like, shutting down the subject. Like, oh, it was a troll. She was seeing other trolls, obviously. So, like, I don't doubt for a second that he actually was seeing prostitutes uh, glamoured as Snow White. Uh, I, I don't doubt that for a second. I think, I think he's a creep, but I don't think he's a killer. I think we're meant to believe he's a killer. I think we're being once more thrown off the actual trail like we were with Woody. Woody's not the killer. Um, it, I think it could still be Georgie, but I don't have any clue. I have no evidence that it was Georgie. Um, the ribbons are weird. Uh, I, I, like that's that's the other thing. Like the ribbons, the enchantment, whatever's going on. 
And Narissa knew. She knew. Like, she somehow knew that when I went there, I would find a crime scene. So, like, obviously there is more going on at the Puddin' and Pie. And I think it has something to do with... Well, uh, remember when um, I, I was torturing uh, the Tweedle, whatever. I, that was D or dumb, I forget. Uh, when I was torturing him, he mentioned he was looking for Faith because Faith stole something from his boss. And then later on, we go to the hotel and Beauty says that she's getting bothered by the Tweedles because she took out a loan from the Crooked Man. And she's getting bothered by the Tweedle, so are they working for the Crooked Man? Uh, is the Crooked Man, like, m should that be my suspect? I mean, it was a throwaway line of dialogue, maybe, but I don't know. It, it, it seems like that's more of a connection, because if... I, 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 I don't know, I, I think Georgie, I gotta, I gotta learn more about what Georgie was doing, because... And I need to talk to Nerissa, but I can't talk to Nerissa because of the enchantment. So I gotta go through Georgie somehow. Uh, I feel like that's gotta be where I focus my attention next time. And uh, yeah, no, I hope you guys tune in for that because I am absolutely playing more of this. This is the sickest shit. So um, yeah, no, uh, I'll uh, catch you guys next time and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, until then, take it easy. <laughs>